find a rail car. Let me find the rail car that they brought in the other day. This is about the brake pads. Because uh, someone in uh, the virtual rail fan wanted to debate me about them still using iron pads. Let's see if there's a new one on here. <sighs> the brake pads. Now the brake pads are on one end of the rail car. They're not on both ends. Actually, this one has them on both ends. Okay. This y'all can see that it is a rubber based compound you would think it's it feels like metal but it's not it is actually a rubber based compound and if there is a rubber sheen uh, metal shin on the back this is all metal right here and this is a rubber piece um, I don't know what kind of rubber it is, but when we used to take these off, I asked one of the guys about it, and he was like, <laughs> see, when you shear it off, it gives you a black coat on your finger from the top. look at another one this one here is almost worn out see it's a heavy very heavy rubber piece and over a period of time the reason why they got rid of the iron and went to these rubber compounds whatever this type of thick hard rubber is because the metal plates kept shearing off the wheel and not the flange but the wheel so they had to come up with something different so they started using these rubber pads I don't know who kept thinking that they still use iron core pads they stopped using iron core pads back in the late 80s and started willing winging out all the metal pads in the 90s every car on the railroad now has some type of rubber pad even the engines come with this rubber pad <sighs> this is a rubber based compound it's not 100% rubber it has something else on it um, but we still got this car here and the railroad came last Thursday, but they parked our cars out there. Um, I'm wondering, did they red tag us? They probably did red tag us. Who knows? Who knows? I'll find out in a little bit. But, guys, that is not iron. That is a rubber pad with a metal sheet on the back. It's some type of rubber compound mixed with some kind of other material. So when it breaks, it breaks. It's not eating up the wheel. And as you can see, these wheels are nice and smooth and they don't have no flat spots in them. The only time you get flat spots is when you tie the wheel down too much and the wheel doesn't move. Trust me, I've done it a lot where I used to work at. We used to tie it down where the wheel wouldn't move because sometimes we set the cars on the hill. When we set the car on the hill, we tie it down to make sure it don't move. And then when we couple up, we'll drag it and leave a flat spot where the wheel hits the rail. That's how you get a flat spot. Or when you get a brand new pad and when they press on the brakes, the wheel locks. And once again, it leaves a flat spot between the wheel and the rail. That's how you get a flat spot. Whoever says something different, really don't know nothing about railroad cars. All right.
I heard a horn. And this is what you get from the pad when you change them out. That rubber leaves this. I could have sworn I heard an engine. Cause what? This is the end of the month. Oh, service train is coming. They're here. They just got here. Let me go let my boss know. All right, guys, I gotta go. I gotta let uh, boss man know that they're here. Until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye.